something at the outset. The questions that have asked so far in this debate illustrate why the American people don't trust the media. This is not a cage match. And you look at the questions, Donald Trump, are you a comic book villain? Ben Carson, can you do math? John Kasich, will you insult two people over here? Marco Rubio, why don't you resign? Jeb Bush, why have your numbers fallen? How about talking about the substantive issues people care about? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gimme Five. That will go down as the defining moment of the CNBC debate without doubt, at least in my mind. And it, it, it should. It should. And I think it's going to lead to a lot of changes. You heard Ben Carson at the beginning of the show tell us exclusively he's trying to organize the other candidates to demand changes in the debate format going forward. I think this was a turning point. And uh, CNBC, you know, they should be ashamed of themselves the way Fox should be ashamed of themselves, the way CNN should be ashamed of themselves. They all did it differently, but they all went after the Republican candidates. And here's some more uh, instances of the crowd being on the side of the candidate. To be fair, you were on the home page of their website with the logo over your shoulder. If somebody put me on their home page, they did it without my permission. Does that not speak to your vetting process or judgment in any way? No, it speaks to the fact that I don't know that it's going on. <laughs> See, they know. <laughs> They could attack him and attack him and attack him and attack him, and all it's going to do is bring money into his coffers, and it's going to increase his numbers. That's all it's going to do. So keep attacking Ben Carson Media. May, you know, they, they don't learn. I don't know. I can't get inside their heads. Here's more. Where did I read this and come up with this that you were... Probably, I don't know. You, you people write this stuff. I don't know where you... <laughs> I don't know this stuff. You see someone with the moral authority? to unite the country? You know, as few questions I've got, the last one I need is to give him some more time. I love Donald Trump. He is a good man. I'm wearing a Trump tie tonight. Get over that one, okay? Now, is that made in Mexico? I don't know. Is it made? Is it made in China? Made in China or Mexico? I have no idea. That is China or Mexico. Such a nasty, such a nasty question. But thank you, Governor. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and on it goes. And Chris Christie. Yes, he was up on stage last night. Remember, he was looking right at you the whole time. And uh, he weighed in as well. Wait a second. We have $19 trillion in debt. We have people out of work. We have ISIS and Al-Qaeda attacking us. And we're talking about fantasy football. <laughs> we get the government to do what they're supposed to be doing secure our borders protect our people and support american values and american families enough on fantasy football let people play who cares all right well of course the issue with fantasy football is that some people claim it's rigged and it's not fair to the people who are investing money now i believe he's being disingenuous and if this was happening in the state of new jersey only he'd be the first one to investigate it try to close them down and brag about it um, he also talks about what government should do a high school student athlete in New Jersey, the only state, if a referee thinks they're talking about another t uh, opposing team person and in a derogatory manner, ethnicity, sexuality, they could be reported to the state's attorney general's office. Is that what government's supposed to do? Governor, here's one more. Let me give you one quick example. These folks, CNBC, they had it down at three, three and a half hours. I just read today in the New York Times, $250,000 for a 30-second ad. I went out and said, it's ridiculous. Nobody, I could stand up here all night. Nobody wants to watch three and a half or three hours. It was a big sacrifice, and I have to hand it to Ben. We called Ben. He was with me 100%. We called in. We said, that's it. We're not doing it. They lost a lot of money. Everybody said it couldn't be done. Everybody said it was going to be three hours, three and a half, including them. And at about two minutes, I renegotiated it down to two hours so we can get the hell out of here. Not bad. <laughs> And then they said he was not telling the truth. It was always going to be two hours. And he said, that is not true. Thanks for watching, folks.